This is a combination of two exercises, uh, exercise 3323A using RevSurf and 3324A using EdgeSurf. I'm in my, my train drawing file in the Steps Lesson 33 folder. It has been completed to this point. We are in the Bell view and our stack layer is current. We'll begin with the RevSurf command which we can enter at the command line or we can use the pull down menus. Our RevSurf command starts by telling us that our surf tab is still 20 and our surf tab 2 is at its default of 6. AutoCAD wants to know which object to revolve. I want to revolve this object. Now it wants to know the axis of revolution. This is my axis. I'll start at 0 degrees and go a full 360. All right, I'm going to set my bell layer current. I'm going to repeat the command and do the same thing with my bell. Like so. Now finally, I'm going to thaw the marker layer. That's going to give me some lines down here. I'll set my wheels layer current. I'm going to repeat my RevSurf command. I want to revolve this object around this axis and I will do the same thing for the other wheels. Now finally I'm going to select the objects that I have created and give them a smoothness level of 1. and I'm going to freeze the marker layer once again. Okay, let's continue now with exercise 33 to 4A. I'm still in the bell view. I want to set my ground layer current and begin with the edge surf command. AutoCAD asked me to select the objects for my surface edge. This is a really simple command. And it draws my ground for me. Pretty simple. Let's pan down just a little bit. And we're going to thaw the flag layer. AutoCAD gives me the beginnings of the flag. Let's go ahead and set it current. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so you can see the results better. Okay, I'm going to repeat my edge surf command. Notice that these lines are not all as straight as the ground was. How about that? Now let's select the object, give it a nice little arc. Give it some smoothness. Okay. Save your drawing. And we'll continue in our next video.